You okay, Law? You seem kind of quiet. I'm fine. Just feels a little weird returning home now that my dad's not here, I guess. Huh. Uh, oh! Oh man, sorry. I didn't mean to bum you out, too. Hmm. So I guess that means you'll be visiting your dad's grave while you're here. Right, Law? His grave? What are you, nuts? There is no grave. The Rena would only destroy it the moment they found it. Back before Calaglia was liberated, dead slaves would be dumped in mass burial sites. Either that or thrown on top of a bonfire. We got used to cremating our own to deny them the pleasure. Then we'd sprinkle the ashes from high up as a way of returning them to the motherland. It's all we could do. That's the ceremony we had when my mom died, too. But that was back then, right? Calaglia is liberated now. There's nothing to stop you from raising a true grave anymore. I suppose you've got a point. Once you've been doing something for generations, though, it sort of begins to take root. It's a tradition of its own now. My dad wouldn't want that anyway. Cheap and simple, he'd say. Besides, I can't treat him differently than my mom. They might not end up meeting on the other side. I hadn't thought of it like that. Wow, imagine. The two of them reunited. Back home where they belong. They're probably watching over us right now. At one with great Dana. <laughs> There's something almost poetic about it. That's why I can't afford to screw up. If I know my pops, something as paltry as death won't stop him from coming to box my ears. Still, better than being left alone, I guess. Better than never knowing. You hear that, Dad? I'll make you proud. You'll see. And she has to come along and... Hey, you're looking a little red there. You working up a fever or...? <clears throat> you dummy! What did I do?!
Looks like we made it here in one piece. Do Halim pancakes! Huh? Huh? Filled with equal parts compassion and passion, always ready to boldly rescue anyone from the perils of the munchies. Delectable, ineffable Do Halim pancakes! Get them while they're hot! That's quite the sales pitch. This is all new to me as well, I assure you. Why, if it isn't Lord Dohalim himself! Care for a pancake, my lord? Might as well have some while we're here. Indeed. However, I'm not sure how I feel about eating my own visage in front of the populace. At least let me show you how to make them! I'll also teach you the most important part! How to draw Lord Dohalim! Oh, this sounds like pure gold. I'm game. <laughs> hey! We should make some pancakes right now. They were drawing Dohalim's face back there. That seems like a handy trick to keep in your back pocket. The recipe's light on ingredients, and a little extra work could bring the flavor right out. Great! Then let's make some together. Our very own personalized pancakes. Sure. I got this. You're out, Alfin. I don't need spicy pancakes. <sighs> You're out too, Kisara. You'd win easily. Win what? Is it a competition? Yes. A contest between me, Xion, and Dohalim. Wait, what? I'm more of an eating specialist. You can say that again. <laughs> I accept any and all challenges. Great. Then I'll be the judge. I can gather the ingredients. Okay, then it's on! Hey, uh, what about me? Maybe we'll have some luck finding what we need at the farm. Finally made it. <laughs> right. Thanks. Oh. Whoa! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to find out once and for all whose pancakes reign supreme. I guess he's emceeing now. Let's hear some thoughts from Kisara, our judge. Indeed. This is a highly eclectic group of competitors. I look forward to seeing what they produce for us today. Expectations sure are running high! Ah! And here comes Xion with her entry! I applied all of my know-how to this, and put extra care into the visual presentation. Well... that's bold. Nothing wrong with Xion holding her head high. Let's see how it tastes. <laughs> hmm? What? I mixed in some candy that tingles the tongue. Oh, um, I see. It's creative. I'll give it that. But it's quite, uh, a mouthful, as it were. It... it might be too sweet. Well, I should hope so. I put in as much food and sugar as I could. It should provide three days' worth of nourishment. Uh, three days' worth? Our judge has been left stunned! And not in a good way. Now it's time for the Lord himself! Here is what I made. What? what the Dohalim pancakes! I can't believe he actually did the art. Go on, relish my crowning achievement to your heart's content. Well, don't mind if I do. 
Not even a moment's pause. Dohalim, there's some strange liquid leaking out of this. Indeed. I gather delicacies the world over and pack them all in. That's what makes my masterpiece so good. Pancakes are overrated anyways. And you're out. Defeat. And just like that, his lordship is disqualified! Ah, uh, what do I do? I... I just made regular old pancakes. They're both just so eccentric. And mine is so... How am I supposed to follow their acts? Rinwell, you're up! Okay, okay, I'm coming. Just putting on some finishing touches. Woo! Oh, Oodle. No, oh, you, your face. Whew. Are you sure? <laughs> well, okay. I, I'll never forget you, Hoodle. <laughs> Oh no, you didn't! Huh? <laughs> Never mind. Let's see what Judge Kisara thinks! Hmm, let's see. It's nice and soft around the edges, and yet there's a hoodle face firmly imprinted in the middle. The contrast of fluffiness and firmness is simply fascinating, and there's a sweet texture that's nicely offset by the jam's tartness. That, and it's the strangest thing, it gives me this odd sense of ardor and conviction. I give this a perfect winning score. <laughs> Renwell takes the title! Looks like you reign supreme over pancakedom. <sighs> I don't understand. I thought I'd gotten the look and taste perfect. <sighs> what could I have done wrong? Huh? Where's Kisara? She took off running to burn off the food she ate. I may have done her a disservice. I guess I was only thinking about what I personally would want to eat. You know, these other ones are actually pretty good. I could go for more of this texture and salty sweetness. I agree. Still, they pale next to Rinwell's pancakes. Yeah, no question there. In fact, I would love to partake in them again sometime. <coughs> hmm? Whatever gave it such a fright? Uh, d don't worry about it. I'll draw all of your faces next time. I can't wait. You just draw them, right? 